Welcome to the old Loomis channel again. I've got a couple of mods going uh, that are going to be using the uh, XHP 70 Cree <coughs> 4 die LEDs and uh, I just want to do a little video on this. I'll be doing the photos as well but I want to do a video on what I'm doing with both of them. I'll try to be brief. You know how that, you know what that means. It means about 30 minutes. Uh, the first one is a there's an SPO3. It's the um, Solar Storm SPO3. That's uh, a three LED. It has uh, fairly large uh, reflectors, a uh, good size head. Uh, I've done this before, and you know this is uh, uses four 18650, but I'm going to be using eight 18650 uh, 2S4P. So the first thing I did was was tear the, the thing down and uh, it wasn't really easy. There were some things that were, were a problem. Uh, one of them was the switch, the, the uh, momentary switch assembly. And I've taken that all out and one of the issues is what to do with it to replace it. Well, I'll be using a, uh, one of the BLF boards down in with a, with a momentary switch there. And in order to hold the, um, to get a rubber cap, because I ruined the rubber cap, I, I've always ruined the rubber cap on those things, uh, to get a rubber cap in place, I've decided to take a 12 millimeter uh, normal tail cap and put it into a copper uh, ring. And that copper ring will go down inside the, uh, head okay so that'll take care of the switch um, the bodies I have to use two bodies because I'm using uh, 2s 2 in series so I have a body from a fixed star and a body from the uh, SPO3 and uh, <clears throat> the SPO3 body that will screw into the head for the SPO3 because of their square threads then I need to take the other body, the fixed star body, and put it together with this, with this uh, SPO3 body. So what I'll be doing is I'll take and I'll, I'll put them together to where they fit about, about like that. I don't know if you can see that, but about that, that height. So... Uh, I will be doing the the human lathe deal. I'll use it, do it on a drill press. I'll be cutting down the OD of this body up into the, up right up to the ledge where it normally would stop with a tail cap. I'll be just cutting down that OD and making it smaller so it will fit inside the other one. On the fixed star body, I'll be cutting in the uh, cutting out the ID so that the other one fits into it. And I'll also be shortening it a couple of millimeters so that uh, the overall length, when it's all together, ends up being what I need it to be. Then I will take the tail cap for this fixed star and I'll cut the, the whole center out of it so it's just basically a ring and then I can screw that uh, back onto the, the fixed star and use it as a um, cover sort of between the two bodies so you really don't see the threads or any of that kind of thing. So that's what I'm doing with the, and then, and then the, um, the tail cap of the um, solar storm will go on the, the back end of the, uh, um, back end of the fixed star. Okay. Uh, that's that's kind of what I at the point I'm, I'm at right now with that. I will also be doing um, this uh, this head uh, had an actual removable LED shelf that sat down in there, and I'll be using copper uh, to replace that shelf, that aluminum shelf, with a copper shelf, and I'll also add a little bit of copper behind it so it's about five millimeters thick. Uh, then I, I, have, I have a driver that will be coming for it to replace the stock driver uh, to be able to do 9 to 10 amps per LED. So that's, that's the basics of what I'm doing with the, with the SPO3. And I'll show you the other one I'm doing. Okay, the other light I'm doing is a, um, it's a light that was sent to me to work on. It's a, 
if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the five mega heads. Uh, he's a, guy, a CPF member. Uh, it's one of those heads. Uh, the original light had four uh, P7 LEDs in it. Um, and it had the um, it had the uh, the Led Zepp heat sink. That's Led Zeppelin, I think. Uh, he's on uh, CPF uh, as well. And this heat sink was already cut out for this, so that the uh, P7s fit right in it. The four P7s. So I've taken a copper plate with with discs on the bottom underneath that will uh, fit and fit right into that heat sink. So there'll be the four uh, 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 Cree LEDs will sit on this copper plate and I'll screw this copper plate down to this uh, heat sink. So it'll have a pretty decent heat sink and uh, that screws right into that uh, 5 mega head which is really heavy so it's going to have a, a, some good heat sinking in it and then it's going to be attached to a 6D mag light body uh, using five uh, uh, lithium ion cells. Uh, this driver is one of the it's, it's H, HB Flex uh, from George from Task LED. So uh, it'll drive in series. It is it is a boost driver because uh, we're doing six, twelve, twenty four volts. You know, and we'll, and we'll be using five uh, Lion batteries. Uh, input and then output will be uh, you know the 24 volts for the four LEDs at 3 amps um, and these uh, reflectors they're just uh, these are the reflectors that were in the P7s uh, they have they have big holes in them uh, already for the LED hole and, and I'm gonna make them flush so they sit right flat down on the star and uh, I may even have to stipple them I don't know yet but I think I'll probably be all right without stippling uh, and that's that's the idea of the four up. So that's that'll be four LEDs uh, running in series uh, at uh, three amps, where the other light will be running three LEDs in parallel at nine amps apiece. So uh, that's what's in the works. Uh, I'll be working on these this weekend, and I'll be doing photos uh, uh, as I go through, showing what I'm doing with them. So, anyways, thanks for watching.